Okay, it rained all night and it's been raining all morning. It is now 10 after 10 in the morning and mowing might be out for the day, but it's insanely windy. And the forecast said it was supposed to stop raining at like nine o'clock this morning. I figured good, no problem. I have a couple lawns that I have to aerate, overseed and fertilize with that new setup. I showed you how I made the hitch for the Toro. So we're gonna give that a try and see how that goes. And uh, I just got a couple to get through. The plan was to buy a new Stinger this year. Um, not the ride on one, but the one that has the Valky on the back like uh, B&B had in his video. I demoed it at GIE and I really want one, but with all the other purchases I had to make this year, the V-Ride 2, the new dump trailer, things like that just didn't come into play. So, but anyway, this should get me through the last couple things I gotta do um, for the year. But, uh, they changed the forecast and said it was going to rain right out through to like two o'clock so that really screwed me but now i notice the rain has stopped for the most part a couple little pieces of drizzle here and there pieces i don't know but anyway um so that has stopped and now i looked at the forecast and it said it's pretty much like a 30 percent chance until one o'clock and then like 10 percent after that so we're gonna go out and see what we can get done. I got everything loaded up and uh, grass seed and fertilizer right there in the back of the truck because I have the walker, the Toro, the aerator, and the spreader all inside the trailer. So we're gonna go uh, see if we can make this happen. And then maybe mowing after that. It depends on what it does, I don't know. I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. So it does really good. That hitch is working awesome. I had to improvise to get some more weight on there, but it's uh, the ground is still really hard, even though we had a ton of rain. But it's pulling, it's pulling more chunks out than anything versus solid round plugs. But it's definitely uh, leaving holes everywhere, which is perfect for me as far as putting seed and fertilizer in it. So it's definitely doing what I need it to do. Okay, aerated, I overseeded it, and I fertilized it. Now I don't use starter fertilizer when I aerate and overseed a lawn. I use 10, 10, 10. And before any of you guys say anything about, that's not the right stuff to use, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me show you something. I showed you guys in a video the other day. This lawn over here was completely brown. Grubs got it, destroyed the entire lawn. They came in, they got rid of the grubs. I aerated, overseeded that, and fertilized it with 10-10-10. We got one day of rain for maybe an hour. 
during a two week period, they had a sprinkler out here every day, 20 minutes a day. And that's how good that lawn came in, in two weeks. And it was solid brown, almost no grass anywhere. Grubs literally destroyed that lawn. That's why I use 10, 10, 10. Wind is blowing like crazy out there. The sun is shining. We still have some clouds, but for the most part, um, it's nice. It's drying up quick. These lawns really ain't bad. There's no reason why I can't go mow, but it is 12 o'clock. Looks like there won't be any gym for Billy and I today. Um, so we'll have to, uh, we'll have to, um, sorry, I write this stuff down before I forget. Um, so we will have to, uh, skip the gym and I'll be working late tonight, but I do have Billy tomorrow and Friday. So as far as getting caught up, there should be no problem. So if another burst of rain comes through like I think it's supposed to, we'll still be all right. But those aerating's and overseedings are knocked out. They're done now. I didn't film the first one. That was the trial run with that new hitch that I welded together, rigged up, if you guys watched that video, um, like a week ago or whatever, when I built that hitch to put on the back of the Toro. I like it. I like it a lot. It did really, really well. I definitely need better weights for that thing. Uh, dug in, left holes, probably an inch and a half, two inch deep. Plenty deep enough for the seed uh, as far as overseeding and aerating goes. I'd, I'd like to pull bigger plugs, like maybe two and a half, three inches for regular aerations. But like I said, this was just to get me out of a bind uh, for some jobs that I had left to do for the end of the season. So not a big deal. It definitely did the job and it will definitely allow that seed to get in there far enough to germinate so I'm not worried about that at all and uh, it took care of what I needed to so in a bind sometimes you got to improvise you got to make things happen like I told you guys before and you know that's the deal that's what I did there I took scrap steel I had laying around the garage and I welded together a hitch I built one and uh, it definitely did the job better than having that aerator on the back of the Walker MT, which is how I did that lawn that I just showed you, the one next door, um, which made this lady call me. Um, the one I just did, I don't mow her lawn. Um, I just trim her hedges for her. She has me trim them every month. She don't care what they look like, trim them every month. So um, she looked next door and saw that lawn. She texted me right away. She goes, did you do something to my neighbor's lawn? Because she knew how bad it was. And I said, yeah, and I told her, she goes, do it to mine. I don't care what it costs. So not a problem. Got it done. And uh, that hitch, I think when I looked hitches up, I found them anywhere from 30 bucks, super chintzy. Found a couple good ones for around $60, $70. It weren't too bad looking, but for what I built out of scrap steel laying around the garage, the, my hitch is 10 times stronger than anything you're gonna buy in the store. So it did the job and uh, made me money and didn't cost me anything just a little bit of my time so that's what you got to do sometimes okay so i did end up going out mowing today it turned out to be a beautiful day once billy got home from school i came and picked him up and he helped me but before that i mowed two lawns i was on the third lawn and made one pass on this loud clank i looked behind me in the x blades that i'd put on that toro Two of them were dug straight down the ground. They literally came off. My fault has to be. I've run X blades on this before and it did phenomenal. Never had an issue, never come off. I must not have tightened it back up. It was the two blades on this side and uh, didn't do any more damage. Thank God I was right next to three cars. They could have come off and went through a car. But anyway, I ran home. I was right around the corner, put the regular blades in there. Hi, Hi. Noah. <laughs> put the regular blades in there, went back out mowing, mowed great all day. And then, uh, I was just mowing with Billy and I ran into a chunk of concrete that was half sticking out of the ground I never saw because the grass was thick and there were a bunch of leaves on it. And here's the cup for the Versamo blades. Now anyone knows anything about walkers, the blades are all attached to these cups with these shear bolts and the cup is offset the lines where it goes on the spindle so then that way you can run four blades without them hitting each other. Well. When I hit something, I pushed the front of the walker deck in. No big deal. I just smashed it back out and put the regular blades back on it. No Versamo blades. But it tore the straight across pieces right out of here. 
um, let me show you real quick what I mean. I'm sure I got 15 sets of them here. Okay, right up here. If you see that, you see the straight lines? That keeps it so it sits on the spindles the right way. Anyway, it tore those right out of there and it took this blade and this blade right off. These Versimo blades, if you guys don't know, this is what they look like. Um, this goes on the mower like that. This has grooves so it sits over top of that blade like that and right over the shaft coming out of the gearbox and the nut goes on there. Well, it sheared those two bolts right off the heads of them. The bolts are still in there. It sheared those right off and it tore the center out of there. So I need a new cup and I need a new set of bolts to put this back together. Other than that, it really didn't do any damage. A little nick on the end of the blade there and there. Uh, this is the one from the other side, it's perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, so now I need to order those and I need to get those bolts out of there. Um, and I need to put new bolts in there, put those on before I can run Versamos again, which I definitely want before I go into full leaf cleanup season with Ryan. So for tomorrow, Billy and I will be running the Toro Grandstand with the accelerator, bagger, and the Skag V-Ride, and that'll be tomorrow's setup. I am done for today. I'm calling it quits. I've had enough. Make sure you hit the subscribe -y, bob -y button, leave a thumbs up and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. We'll see you in the next one.